Hey guys, Elvis here from the trading room. Okay, um, I just want to give you a quick overview of what's going on in the market. Um, we had some real bullish tendencies over the last couple of days, meaning from the last week we got breakout and we just keep like a train going up. Realize from this chart, these are 15 day, 15 minute chart. You would see, you have consolidation and you have a breakout to the upside. So it is 15 day, 15 minute. Nothing came down to any of the value area. So you want to buy low, sell high. Uh, there are a lot of fundamentals going on in the market right now. Where a lot of stuff with reaction from the budget itself happening right now. We have a lot of institutional guys moving in and out of the market. So we have institutional guys moving into the market right now. So what we're looking at on specifically uh, using the S&P today as the example of what we're doing. Right, so you would see Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We had one dip last week Wednesday that came down, dropped off straight down the support. The buy it up there. We had a breakthrough from all time highs. Resistance which we try to sell, so we had a pretty rough week coming down to the end of last week. There, so uh, all right, let's go to today's market. I kind of like took like about a three percent loss on my account, so reasonable for normal trading and trading, um, counter trend trading. Okay, um, so I've inputted value area deviation point of control. Alright, so we can look for tomorrow because it's Monday. We are, well, technically it's Monday because today was our holiday. You would see the market just did nothing today. Opened on a high, closed back right there. Right, so what we're looking at is that 2797.5. This is a number I might be selling tomorrow early. If we have um, a spread looking like 2800 to sell off we could sell that at low risk for like about 30 dollars risk to sell to the downside we are more interested in is looking to see if the market does have a relief trade or does not have a relief trade so you're looking at a low risk trade at 2800 if you have 2800 should be able to actually get back to 2793 with low volume because we do expect a lot of volume. Volume is what drove the, these trades through the breakout. Because every time we look to sell tops, they had breakouts on it. So, what's going on right now in the market is have a lot of fundamentals drive in the market. Remember, we trade in technicals and technical points. We're looking for reversions and point out in the market. So, you could have seen this. I kind of pull all the trades off the table. Once we saw what the market action came up to look like, so what we looking to do tomorrow is look for that cheap sell at that one twenty eight hundred. We're not selling binaries; we're only selling spreads to reduce your risk and maximize if the follow through comes up for the correction in the market because we're still looking for that correction in the market. So what we're looking at doing is actually getting from these trades one reversion trade only so we specialize in, in slash es or that would be your us 500 trade so we have i have listed the one point up to 1.5 deviation on each trade so for the past days we had clock some new numbers which is on es Trades, spreadsheet, deviations. Right, so on the ES, we clock three days, I mean, in the market opening back up. So you're seeing 13, 18, 18, 18. So when you're seeing big numbers like this, I mean, the market is not in consolidation mode, it actually was in a bullish mode. So make sure that you understand exactly what going on in the market. So you're looking to buy cheap, sell high buy low selling outside so the movie looking for in the market tomorrow is particularly this 
we will look to buy the bottom of this value area but this value area is 20 points off so you would have a spread if you open up this evening you might have this spread open to your 27 t area so we're looking to buy value area low and sell 0.5 deviation that's the only two trades we have for tomorrow so you're looking to buy this value area low here which is our one deviation move on a binary or oh, sell the spread here if we do wake up in the morning and we see this one deviation move we can sell this at cheap as cheap as possible for the downside and take profits at 78 points so that will be 70 to 80 dollars per contract or 50 to 60 dollars if we have a 127 we eat we could be selling at 127 10 spread to the downside to 120 800 if we have the what we could have is move to the downside hit POC and move to the upside back so we have to watch the market tomorrow because today we don't have hard volume on it um, on the forex side we'll show you a chart of forex this is a 300 pip move this is a 4 hour chart so we have fundamentals in the market drive in the market because we sold here got we take profits last week at this point so you will see the bonks come back up straight bush break through go to the upside if you look at a daily chart you will see the consolidation is broken you have a equal measure move back to the downside and you have a breakout to the upside so if you look at a weekly chart on this your USD, you would see we heading back up to the upside and then moving like a train. So be very careful if you're looking to sell euro against the USD. We already in the zone of consolidation. So where we might be looking at selling tomorrow is a binary sell at this point, which is one twenty four because we have a big push to the upside breakout would send you to the next level of consolidation and then to the downside back for reversion back to the level of one twenty thirty. So we already have the breakout already. You can see the move happening. This is a weekly chart. So if you look at the daily chart you would see more or less a similar move of the breakout from here. So you're looking for the test back of support back to the upside so what we're looking at is really is this area here right here of consolidation to only sell that so um, uh, we had a rough week last week we I more or less lost about 3% of my account 3 to 4% uh, to do some rectification on it to make sure so you can see the moves on them on the euro USD we had a 300 pip move on GBP USC a 280 pip move so it had a big week last week the market to start to open up back so be careful guys on trading um I would be posting signals as normal in the group um make sure that if you would like to be in the <coughs> in the shy group you can always message me on Facebook or um, via the chat Okay guys, um, bye.